the latest additions uh, to the team. Jacob, welcome on board. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very happy to be here. So tell us, who is Jacob Mendy? Where were you born all the way to your journey of where you are today? Yes, I'm Jacob Mendy. I was born in Pajikunda. I lived in Lamin for the rest of my life, well, from since I was born until seven years old. Uh, and then I moved to Spain where I started my football career. I started playing football in Spain when I was eight. And uh, from there I played um, in one team called Ade Parla for five, six, six, five years. And then I moved to Atletico Madrid one year. And um, I played in third division when I was 18 in, in Spain. And then I moved to, to England where I started in, uh, in a really low league um, called Combined Counties. And I just started making my way up from there, you know, with hard work. And thank God I'm, I'm here with, with the national team, which is my, it's always been my dream. You've been to uh, Spain at a very, very young age, uh, at the age of seven. You live with family or your parents were there? Yes, I moved with my family. First, my dad went there, started working and uh, until he could afford to bring me, my sister and my mom. And I lived there with, with my, my, bro my brothers and sisters until um, 2016. We left to um, Spain to go to UK and um, that's where my story begins in professional football. Mm. Well, um, how, tell us, how did you receive the news that uh, you've been invited into the Sudan National Team of the Gambia? This is where dreams are made for, aren't they? Exactly. Um, as I said, it's always been my dream, you know. It's top, top um, for a football player to represent their country. And, um, you know, that's something I was I always dreamed on. And uh, the moment I found out, I was just so happy. I couldn't believe it. How did you find out? Um, well, um, I woke up one day in the morning and I saw um, and that, um, I was added in the group chat of the Scorpions. So I, I kind of guessed that I was, I was being called up, so so happy. Um, and um, later on, I spoke to Tom and he gave me the news, so I was so happy. But before you've been added into the group, you must have been chatted with the coach then, aren't you? Yes, yes, before. I think uh, when we won the league with my team, Wrexham, um, I had a chat with the coach and um, he asked me how I feel and um, yeah, he just asked me about personal questions. So it was a really good approach. Mm. So, uh, I mean, uh, when you were growing up, uh, did you ever imagine that, you know, you want to represent the Gambia? I can't, as I said, I always deemed it. But I couldn't have imagined it. Um, maybe a year ago, even a year ago, I wouldn't have imagined it. So I'm just happy, happy to be here and, and enjoying every little moment with the national team. I know the story with uh, Rexham is, is, is very, very intriguing, playing league football now, uh, next season. But what is your ambition now, the target going forward, since you have now achieved uh, a lot in your life? You're a professional pro footballer, you're going to play in the... In the in uh, in the league football in England next season, and also you know you here you are becoming a scorpion. Yes, um, as I always say, I want to play as high as in 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 football, you know, as high as possible. So I want to um, get promoted again with Wrexham, and also I want to become. I want to make this um, um, coming with the national team uh, more often. You know, I would love to be part of the group in the the next um, collapse. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you for very your much. time. Thank you. <clears throat>
too much of uh, administrative procedure, especially when we reach at the airport and so on. You know, having to leave some of our luggage is behind, and you know, but for the team, the team is settled. The conditions are good. The hotel is good. The training pig is inside the hotel, so it's just a walking distance to training. The only challenge is the weather, which is very, very, very hot here, yeah. hotter than the Gambia. So we, the coach is working very hard to make sure the boys adjust to the standard of the weather because we're playing at 4 o'clock, at 4 o'clock is very, very warm. So a lot of people uh, just see national teams, assembled players are here, and as you alluded to, good hotel, good training pitches. But some people might not know what work is being done behind the scenes to ensure that all these conditions are available for the players to play. Maybe you can take us through as to what it takes to be here. Uh, well, you know, for the national team, each party has its role. That's the government and the GFF. The GFF is responsible for administering the national team. They do the preparation prepare the budget, send it to the ministry, and also uh, work on the logistics on the ground so that everything is available for the coach. And as you know, the coach also has his, have his own role in selecting his players, doing his program, and so on. So the role of the GFF is make sure the facilities are in top class, everything is provided on time, and the players, when they come, they are comfortable, and so on. And the role of the government is to provide the finance. Even if the finance is not, uh, did not meet the budget, GFF will have to come in and meet the necessary, you know, uh, uh, sort of the finance and, and then so on. So, but the idea is to work as a team, the government and the GFF, so that we are able to give the coach what he needs and the players to be able to deliver and satisfy the Gambian public. Well, um, this is the penultimate match. Uh, our final match uh, is in September. Uh, of course, I mean, here you are speaking on behalf of the Gambia Football Federation, but and, uh, is there any chances that we would uh, be able to play uh, the final game uh, back home? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that, that's the target, you know, because works is on, the stadium is being rehabilitated and remodeled, and... We believe that before September it will be available. So our concentration now is this match. Let's move uh, and try to get the win for this match, you know, or a draw, depending on the circumstances. But it's good to have the uh, everything in our hands and drive the, uh, in the direction of the national team where we want to be, and that is the next ask on. So getting a win will definitely move us to the nearer to qualification. So we just concentrate on that. And after here, September, you know, we go to the Gambia, you know, because definitely Gambians want to see the national team play at home. So we, 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 we believe, we hope that the team will play at home. Finally, uh, do we take it for granted that uh, South Sudan, you know, are the lowest ranked team in the group, so we just get a walk over them? No, <laughs> football has moved on, you know. Remember, we used to be the at the same situation as South Sudan mm -hmm. and where are we now? South Sudan will think like that because if you look at uh, the permutation of the group, South Sudan still have an opportunity to mm -hmm. qualify. Mm -hmm. So they will go out, all out to qualify. They have been in camp for a while now. They have they are, have so many home based players. They train as a team. So the compactness of the team is there. Uh, the teamwork will be there. But we believe that we have the class and 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 and, and some of the good players to able to make a difference and the boys are well prepared and we'll work hard. We'll definitely try to make sure that we win this game and 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 satisfy the Gambian public who are always behind the, the team, support the team. So uh, we are confident and we just go and play our football and get the points and move on to the next day. Mr. Second Vice President, thank you for your time. Thank you.